All right, sounds good. So we've got a few people in the uh, in attendance here right now. I did see that uh, Gareth tweeted it out my session, but he is not actually watching it because um, he is on the other side of the room here today. So I just wanted to see if he was actually watching or just tweeting it out. Uh, so today's topic is five SQL Server indexing myths. And basically, we just want to go through five things that uh, I generally find that people believe about SQL Server indexes and turns out to be uh, generally just not true. And so just a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Jason Strait. I am a uh, Microsoft Certified Master for that uh, ancient program that no longer exists. Uh, it's about as useful as saying that you are a Mayan because there's really no context for it anymore. Uh, SQL Server MVP, been working with SQL Server here now about 17, 20 something years, long enough that I just really don't count that much. I've done a bit about indexing here in the past for the training on the T sessions, and at some point I had absolutely nothing to do with my free time, so I decided to write an indexing book. And if you want to read 350 pages about indexing, it's a pretty good resource for that. So let's talk, talk today about myths and about indexes, because when it comes to indexes, there are a number of things that people believe about indexes to be true that, that really just aren't true, and they're just, just misconceptions, and they're not really real. And so what we want to do is help everyone here today with these, these five myths, and I go through them to help you figure it out and find out exactly how they all go together and then maybe find out that there are some things that you can learn about these myths and um, give you a chance to know a little bit more about indexes and how they work. So let's uh, not waste too much time with an introduction and we'll just jump into the first myth about indexes. Uh, the first myth about indexes is that primary keys are always clustered. So primary keys are not always clustered indexes. Now, that being said, uh, primary keys are clustered by default, but they're not always. You can't always just assume that, oh, there's a primary key, that's the clustered index. Uh, it doesn't work out that way, and you can assume some very um, bad things about that based upon that kind of an assumption. A really great uh, example of this that I had in, my, had in the past is I was working with a database uh, platform at one point where there was a data warehouse, and for some reason, every single uh, primary key that was on the system was not clustered. They had chosen a business key to do all of the clustering on, which was not the, the primary key. The primary key that they had used was a, a value that they were assigning as the rows were going in. And while initially it, thought, it seemed to them that the business key was, would, would be a much, much better fit for their cluster index, it turns out that as the system started leveraging the data in it, it was actually using the, that, prim, that primary key for all the data. And that difference and that myth of, 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 of believing that that primary key was automatically that clustered key prevented some of their developers from being able to go in and understand what the real problems were. So there are times, though, uh, where you're not going to cluster your primary key, and that's going to basically be times where there's another value that's out there that's, that's a much better fit for doing your clustering. Because you've got to think about your clustered index, and your clustered index is the, should be that main value, that main path that you use to get to all of your rows, and it's not always going to be the primary key and sometimes it will be the primary key. And so you just got to take, take a look at it and see how it, how it works out. Um, a really good example of a primary key that you may not use is if you're using a um, unique identifier for your primary keys. It may not be a good idea to have that be the clustered key as well. Uh, but then again, having primary uh, uh, unique identifiers as your primary key value, that's a completely different discussion. But let's take a look at this. I just want to show you guys and validate and prove out every single one of these myths as we talk through them. And so let's just take a look and see what goes on. And so I've got a few uh, myth tables here. Let's just make sure I have none of these tables already built. And I'm just going to start by creating a table and putting a, pri uh, a primary key on that table onto the row ID column. 
And I just want to show here that by default, having done nothing, it is going to build a primary key that is clustered. So if you don't do anything, and this is where people get uh, generally confused on, the, on this matter, is if you don't do anything, your primary key will be clustered. But it's easy not to cluster it by just saying that you want it to be non-clustered. And so you can do that. And so let me just go through and build a, our Myth2 table. So if we build our Myth2 table and, and specifically say, don't cluster it, it's going to not cluster it. And so instead, it's got a heap and a non-clustered index, and that is the primary key. And so you can specifically state that you don't want it to be that way. And for our third uh, scenario here, let's actually put a clustered index on a table and then go through and not specify that it should be clustered or non-clustered. And if it goes with the default, should it then be clustered? Will it move that clustered index? And the answer is that it actually will not move that clustered index. Uh, the default for a primary key being clustered is a fluid default because it's going to default to being clustered indexed so long as another clustered index doesn't exist on that table or that you didn't specify that it should be non-clustered. And so we can see here the primary key here is that non-clustered index because we had a specifically clustered index that we got added on to begin with. And so hopefully that helps clarify that primary keys aren't always clustered. By default, they can be. And de by default, they usually are. But you can't make any assumptions when you're going in and doing analysis on index that a primary key will always be clustered. You know, the clustered index is the clustered index. The primary key is the primary key. Uh, they will overlap, but not always. And uh, I, I do want to remind people, as we're going through here, if you have questions, please add them in. And at the end, we will go through all those questions questions and get through as much as we can. So the second one, index column order doesn't matter. Uh, so this is one that comes up from time to time when I'm talking to people about non-clustered indexes and about just uh, clustered indexes in and of themselves. The, it, the order of the columns within those indexes does matter. Indexes are sorted from left to right. So the, the leftmost column that you put into your index is that first column that's in the sort. Uh, 